My name is Diana Cowern. I am a YouTuber, recovering physicist, and my role in this production is to host the whole dang thing. Working with Diana was amazing. She's a total pro. I actually was a big fan of Diana and her YouTube channel, The Physics Girl, before even getting to work with her. I had actually, she doesn't know this. I, well, she does now because I told her, but I've secretly been trying to work with Diana for years. She just has no idea. I pitched her for multiple projects in the past. That was another reason why I was so excited to take this job because I was like, oh, I get to work with Diana. I love The Physics Girl. I am formerly a uh, executive producer on uh, because science, I've worked on the science of Mortal Kombat, Star Talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson, a few projects with the Mythbusters, director of content at Nerdist, so lots of nerdy science-based content in my uh, wheelhouse. Right, the next time someone else calls and says, hey, have you worked with science communicators? The first person I'm gonna show them is Diana. So Diana Cowan is a gem. I mean, honestly, somebody who is the full package in terms of uh, super, she's brilliant, she's also super talented in terms of on camera as a communicator, has everything you could possibly want, and is also just great to work with. Couldn't have gotten any luckier than, than Diana. I grew up watching a lot of science shows just you know, as most kids do in school, you know, the Magic School Bus, Bill Nye. Um, and a lot of these shows were really cool and, you know, inspiring and, you know, we all learned a lot from them. But I've never seen a show like this before, especially, you know, hosted by Diana, who is amazing, and a woman, I mean, can't you know, ignore that. She's amazing and it's really cool to see, you know, a female scientist, you know, just killing it on her show. And I'm very proud to be part of that. Diana is herself, uh, she has a physics background, and this show, in a sense, is not directly related to physics. It's more, it's more math, it's more logic, but her background and her just skill set in terms of understanding ideas, and not only that, but in terms of take, taking the ideas, knowing right away what they were, being able to expand upon them, sometimes add to them, um, it's, it's invaluable, right? You, you can hire somebody who's just good on camera, but to bring somebody on who is, is a legitimate scientist and analytical thinker herself, is there's, there's no replacement for that. I have been approached by a number of different production companies over the years um, for various science ideas, like a science show, the successor to Mythbusters and Bill Nye the Science Guy. And usually they're very much just to camera, but this concept was completely different because it had games, it had demonstrations, it had people involved and we're rap sort of bringing in the real world to talk about science and to talk about math and prove the concepts of all these things that for me are like, usually you learn in a textbook and usually you're studying to learn how all this works, but we're, we're really bringing it in with examples from the real world and fun examples like counting cards in blackjack. I mean, that's cool. The first thoughts that I had uh, when I was offered this uh, role on the show is kind of how exciting it is to work on something that I feel uh, means something to me and is educational, informative, and is not just the, the usual, what we see on media these days of just, you know, content, content must be engaging and do this, but can actually teach you things and have a, a fun educational element to it. I think shows like Proof of Concept are important for a lot of reasons. One, because of the fact that these are really beautiful ideas and they're sort of just inherently, intrinsically worth knowing about because of their intrinsic beauty. Uh, I also think that it's one thing to sort of get into the nitty gritty of details and technology and science, but it's another to just sort of think about the things that we don't really fully understand. Think about the things that really sort of push the limits of, of what knowledge is, of what understanding is. Even what I sort of love about some of these concepts are that the concepts themselves are about understanding or about how much we can know or not know or know about what someone else knows, right? These sort of very strange things that people don't necessarily even realize are science or are studied or are math, um, but they are and they're super cool. And uh, I think the, the more, you know, the, the 10 year old me who's out there, this is for him. It was all stuff that was way over my head, but as we got into it, I started slowly to understand it. I still don't understand it all, but that's okay. It's not really my job to understand all of it, but I think we got it all captured. I already love these ideas, and we're trying to get 
the rest of the world to love them as well. And when the rest of your crew who are in the film industry come up and want to talk to you about the ideas, you know that you've done something right.